right uh, welcome viewers to this lesson where we want to deal with uh, the conversion of numbers from base 10 to base more these are questions that we expect in grade uh, 9 exam for the Zambian syllabus okay he's one of the students that I teach using online lessons and today he's with me here and he has decided to come and attend live uh, uh, lessons okay so please make sure that you pay attention and uh, follow the lessons okay so my friend you can take a seat and follow the lessons so let's see how we can uh, fix the first one these things are very simple particularly this part comes in paper one okay this part comes in paper one so how do we convert bismo we are looking at we want to these numbers are like decimal okay when they're in base 10 so we want to convert them from the base uh, from the decimal numbers to bismo numbers bismo number is a decimal number that is in base 2 okay the decimal number that is in base 2 that is a bismo uh, number so we want to convert from the base 10 to bismo numbers, those numbers that are in base 2. And I want you to pay particular attention here. We can start with the first one. So we have a whole number here and the other number this side. So I want you to, let's start with the 7. How do we convert 7? So for the whole number, we get 2, then 7 here. I think this is very familiar. So we divide uh, 2 into 7. What do we get? We have 3, remainder 1. Okay? Then we continue 2 into 3. It's 1, remainder 1. We continue until we have uh, 2 into 1. It is 0, remainder one. Are you getting me? For the whole number, this part. So this is what we are going to get. And how do we get this one? We say you need to do this. Okay? You have to write it this way. How you write the final answer. You are going to have, you start with one, one. Okay? You have one, one and one okay that is what seven is in base what in base um in base uh, this number seven when you convert it to base two it will give us this number now remember we have the other part now this is why i want you to pay attention the other part is a decimal number so i'm going to take it as the uh, I'm going to take it as what? 0 0.5. That is what I'm going to take it. Now, we'll actually do the opposite. We are actually going to do the opposite. Okay? So here we were saying we were dividing by 2. Now, the other side here, we shall be multiplying by 2. Okay? We shall be multiplying by 2. So, when you multiply this number by 2, what do you get? You get 1, remainder, 0. That's what we get, isn't it? You get 1, remainder, 0. When you multiply this number by 0 0.5, you get 1, remainder, 0. So, this is what is going to be your answer. Here. So, to get the answer... We are supposed to get, we are not going to get the remainders. Here we get the whole numbers. We do the opposite. Here we are getting the remainders. Now this side will get the whole numbers. And here the remainders, we are getting them going up. But the whole numbers, you get them going down. Okay? So this is going to be, we only have one whole number here. Which will be, that is after a decimal point. We just have, so this is, what will be our answer for the first one? 
this is what is going to be our answer for the first one. I hope if you missed the point here, you should be able to get everything on the second one. On the second one, we have the whole number part is 10. Okay? So 10 divided by 5 remainder 0. 5 divided by 2 is 2 remainder 1. 2 divided by 1 remainder 0. We continue. Then 2 divided by 1 is 1 and it's 0 remainder 1. Until we have 0 here. Okay. Then what, how do we do it? We're getting the answers going upward. So it will be 1, 0, 1, 0. That is only for the part of the whole number. So we need to get now the decimal number part, which is going to be 0 0.75. And what did I say? The decimal part, you multiply it. You need to multiply it. Okay? You need to multiply it. I hope you are getting this. So when you multiply this one, when you multiply this, when you multiply, what do you get? This will give you like um, okay. When you multiply this, this will be zero. This will be fourteen. So you get it like 1 point isn't it it will be 1 point 5 that's what we are going to get 1.5 so take note of that then the next one here what are we going to get here we'll get again the decimal number which is what 0 0.5 0 0.5 has to be multiplied by what 2 what do we get? I think we already did this one. We got 1.0. Uh, Isn't it? It was 1.0 there. Except that I wrote it as in 1 remainder to 1.0. So how do we write the final answer here? I hope you are getting it. We'll get the whole numbers. And we'll start with this one going down. This one going down. So it will be 1, 1. In base 2. That is what we are going to get. In base 2. Okay. If we convert this number to a decimal number, we should be able to get this one. We should be able to get this one. You are going to see in the next lesson, that's what we shall be doing. To convert this one back to this one. That's what we shall be doing. Alright? So let us look at the last one. Let us look at the last one. We get the whole number. 30. What do we have? We have 15. Remainder 0. Here what do we have? We have 7. Remainder 1. Here what do we have? We have 3. Remainder 1, here what do we have? We have 1, remainder 1, here what do we have? We have 0, remainder 1. So we get our answer like this, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Point, we get the whole number part now. Let's get the whole number part, it's 0 point what? Two, 0 0.3. 7, 5. We multiply this by 2. Let us multiply this by 2. What are we going to get? When you multiply this by 2, what do we get? This is going to give us 0. We get to give us 10, then we write 0. This will be what? 14. Plus that one, we get 5. Take note of that. This will give us 7. This will give us 6 plus that one. We have this one, isn't it? That's what we are going to get. And 
what will be the final answer? How many decimal places do we have here? We have three decimal places. So one, two, three. That's what we're going to get. So what we're going to get here is a zero point. Okay. This we can leave it out, this one. It's okay. That's what we're going to get. And the next one that we're going to get here, what is it supposed to be? We get zero point. We get it from here. The same one here, which is zero point. Again, we multiply this one by 2. And if you remember, this is where we were, isn't it? We are going to get what? 1.50. 1.50, which is the same as just 1.5. Okay? I hope that is clear. Then, from this point now, again, we're going to get the decimal number, which is what? 0 0.5. You multiply this by 2. What are you going to get? Here we're going to get 1.0. You see? Here we wanted this part to be 0. And then until this one is 0, we have 0, 0.0 like that. Okay? And we were getting our answer this side going up of the remainders. Here we'll get our answer coming down of the whole numbers. So what we have? We have 0, 1, and 1. So it's 0, 1, and 1. In base what? In base 2. Alright? This is what we are supposed to do. So let me give you three questions for your exercise. I hope they will be easier for you to do. I just hope they will be easier for you to do. Okay. I hope it will be easier for you to do. You can work out a uh, three point um, five. Then maybe here we can have zero point two five. C can have. Uh, five comma and D you can have how do we say thirty five comma um comma what comma one two five okay D and have twelve comma uh, what three seven five. Okay, all these are in best ten. I'm best ten. Best ten. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.